With the traditional algorithm for multiplication, we typically allow our students to explore this once they have gained a conceptual understanding of the meaning of multiplication. With this particular problem, 16 groups of 12, we begin with the 2, and 2 times 6 equals 12, which is 2 with one group of 10. Then 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 more is 3, and we also explain that as being 2 groups of 10, which is 20, another group of 10 equaling 30 for a partial product of 32. Using 0 as a placeholder, moving to the tens place, 1 times 6 equals 6 for 60, because this is one group of 10 times 6. Then 1 times 1 equals 1. Taking our two partial products together, 2 plus 0 equals 2. 6 plus 3 equals 9. 0 plus 1 equals 1 for a grand total of 192. In helping students understand the traditional algorithm, we show them by the use of a multiplication cluster why these two partial products are the way they are. When you use the traditional algorithm, you are considering the 1 and the 2 separately within the problem. So 10 and 2 making up the 12. 2 times 16, our first factor, equals 32. 10 times 16 equals 160, which helps to explain the two partial products all together, 12 groups of 16 equals 192. Final answer, Ms. Frizzle thought 192 cans of soda.